Hello, everyone. Uh, very good evening to all of you. And uh, I can already see a lot of people sending uh, messages on the YouTube page and the Facebook page. So once again, uh, good evening and welcome, everyone. I have uh, an experienced panel with me. I would start uh, with the introduction. For all of you, I'm Sohil Sarkazi, work with Mexis Education. I'm heading the uh, learning and uh, various projects at Mexis Education. Today, we are going to discuss on an important topic, which is uh, transition of uh, learning. Basically, it is the transition of learning environment that is happening now, which schools, teachers, parents, everyone is going through, the students most importantly. And uh, I would like to start with, uh, with an incident which uh, I've seen in, in my 13, 14 years of work. Uh, 10 years back when we used to visit schools, I used to talk to schools, management and principals about, uh, you know, uh, adopting to smart class and technology in the classroom. And we used to convince that this is an important thing and we should have it in the schools. So today we are seeing different uh, different kind of a transition and we're going to discuss about that that how schools can adopt to this situation what is it that schools should do what is it that schools should try and avoid or what is it that teachers okay. should do ultimately um, that uh, how we can keep the child's interest in place so i will start with the introduction i have with me kalpana chaudhary ma'am uh, she's she's still a teacher at heart, and uh, she's a known face to a lot of us. Uh, she's worked uh, most of her uh, most of her time, more than 25 years in Wapi to Valsar region in Gujarat. Uh, worked with various schools. Uh, she's set up a lot of schools from the very beginning. Currently working with uh, NH Goel School uh, Raipur as a director. Uh, next, I have Bini Paulman. She is the principal at Sri LG Area School, Wapi. Again, she's been a teacher for almost 24 years. She also likes to be called as a teacher today also because she likes teaching. She's in the classroom all the while when we go. And uh, I, I've always found her very open to new things and uh, at the forefront of adopting new things at school. So welcome, ma'am. I have with me Dilshad, ma'am. Uh, she's been a teacher, a trainer, uh, worked with uh, preschool teachers, training, uh, voice and accent training for call centers and a lot of things. Now she is going to be working as a principal in a school in Nase. Uh, welcome, Vichad, ma'am. I also have with me Amit Joshiji. He is uh, going to be uh, playing two roles here, of course, as a parent. And he's been on the other side. So he's been into learning and development for almost two decades now. Uh, he's been consulting a lot of corporates, currently heading learning and development for Merrill Life Sciences, Merrill Academy. And uh, he's seen both the sides, what it takes to train, what it takes to create content. And now also as uh, he's a parent, he sees how it is uh, you know, easy, difficult, or what are the challenges uh, as a parent you need to adopt to. So that's that's a panel that we have. I would initiate the discussion with my first question to uh, Kalpana Chaudhary, ma'am. Ma'am, my question to you is that what are the major challenges you see as a school? What are challenges that a school would face in these times when the kids are not in the school? Uh, there might be resource challenges. A quick view from you on this point. See, Sohil, uh, there are many challenges that the school sees in today's time. These are unprecedented times. Schools have never been empty. You know, those small little holidays used to be so terrible for the teachers when children weren't there. Mm -hmm. And for past so many months, we go to school. Like I go to school every day and there's not even a single child. So that is another aspect. But otherwise, as a school, school has so many challenges. First of all, when this pandemic started, 
we did know how to cope with it. Initially, we were given 21 days. 21 days, I think the parents, the teachers, and you know, everyone thought that this will last only till 21 days, and everyone just jumped into you know so solving matters. Whatever we took up a challenge, all right, we start uh, online classes. We will do this. We will do that, and they all did it, right? Mm -hmm. But as it is being extended, now the thing is we have realized and everyone has realized that this new normal is here to stay. We cannot do away with whatever we have learned up till now, whatever we had learned all those years, all those trainings, teacher trainings, which we had on one on one basis. So many of those things have been negated. Schools are basically meant for social interaction also because children's social emotional bonding is created in school, isn't right. it? And right. suddenly children are left there. Teachers are at one end. They are trying their level best through asynchronous or synchronous teaching learning methods. But then, you know, it is very difficult to have the somewhere down the line they are not satisfied that we have not interacted with all our children children are that right. we have not seen our teachers parents on the other right. hand now for very young children parents have to be a part of that teaching learning class right, right. and right. schools also have to another big very big challenge that i see is that is after the schools reopen after covid that is another challenge because you have to set new norms for each and everything. Earlier on, we used to say, say, stay together, be together, you know, share, care, all those things. Now we have to rename and children's wellness, emotional wellness, I think, is the first and the foremost challenge today children's and parents emotional uh, wellness and challenge as well as teachers everybody is anxious somewhere down the line and we need to address this anxiety so i think all these challenges if we count one on one the, the list will be unending but at the moment i think we will stick to our teaching learning basically and how we can adapt to teaching learning in the changed circumstances, if I may say so. Sure, sure, sure. Sure, sure. And another uh, thing. I think uh, before I move ahead with the next question to Kalpana, ma'am, I would also want to. Have... Yes, ma'am. Do you want me to speak? No, no. I can't hear properly. I can't yeah. hear so well. There's some some kind yeah. of. Am I audible to all of you? I I have a hazy sound coming in. Yeah. Not very clear. I I think now it should be good. Is it yeah, okay now? Now, it, now it's all right. Yes, now it's okay. Yeah. yeah. So I just wanted to take a, a quick one or two sentences uh, view on the topic from the other panelists as well. Uh, before I move ahead to the next question, I would want to involve Bini ma'am, uh, your quick view on this situation that we are into as a school, as a teacher, what's your view? Good evening, all of you. Here the transformation during COVID period, huge transformation. It is beyond comparison. What we were before, now what is our approach? It's totally different. Be, be, uh, it's beyond comparison, I mean to say. So that is never ever expected from any of the stakeholders, whether by the teachers, management, students. None of us have not even our dream we expected that this type of situation we will be facing. So I will say key, it is a huge transformation from chalk to right. talk to Google we done Zoom sessions. Right? So when I talk regarding the challenges what our teachers are facing, as I told earlier, ki we were in no way uh, imagining about such a situation in our life. Never before we experienced and 
we will not be facing uh, by god's grace we will not be facing in future too so teachers challenge is a bigger challenge definitely teachers and the students right. are sacrificing in the in both the in, in a similar way in parallel year and for a teacher a class full of 40 students when we teach in a class when we teach a topic we get n number of questions we discuss so many things teach uh, questions are being raised by the students so the discussions goes on that way we are able to create a very clear situation a very clear atmosphere in the class now what's happening is right. teachers are not that much acquainted with the technology mm there is always a resistance so acceptance problem the willingness but by this time our teachers are all means already they have accepted the change they are going to work so acceptance and to adapt the technology these are two main challenges second thing is right. as a teacher what we are facing what what we are facing is like feedback we are not able to you know, we are sending our videos we are sending our audios we are conducting the live classes but we are not sure ki are we properly reaching to our students are we able to give the same service to our students because in a class of 40 there will be hyperactive there are students who can understand very fast there are slow learners also somewhere these people are left out because we are really feeling helpless how to meet their requirement Sure, sure. Yes, sir. So there are multiple challenges, uh, like Ma'am also mentioned. Katna Ma'am said that uh, these are times where everyone uh, is facing a new situation, and the only thing, wise thing to do is that we understand that this is there to remain. This is not just any 21 days or 45 days. This situation is there to remain. And how do we come up with solutions or adopt to new things and uh, continue to do what we are meant to do? Uh, I agree. Of course, we are going to take more views uh, on this uh, in the further questions. Uh, quickly, I would like to ask uh, Dilshad Ma'am your view on the current situation. Uh, how do you look at it? A very quick view. Uh, you might need to unmute your mic first, Ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Ma'am. Uh, the thing is, are you? Uh, am I audible? Okay, as yes, Salma ma ma'am yeah. uh, said that uh, the teachers who are trained in this, and they're taking a session which was, uh, she was in the class and she uh, how to uh, take the class or what are the techniques to be used. This was the uh, trained teacher, uh, and the teacher was in control of the class. Right. But now the scenario has totally changed, and we know the control is to uh, pro, uh, with the parent. and with the student the it, the scenario has totally changed i have been talking to teachers and there are many teachers who are there who are not willing to come online because they are not very sure what they need to do right. so i think uh, uh, this is one of the biggest challenge right. uh, the schools are facing to get uh, to get the teachers from where do we get the teachers right. who can uh, go online this is the biggest challenge is coming in the market for the right. schools another thing is as the technology uh, wise the schools are not well equipped uh, the parents are unable to provide the devices or whatever the things to the students also there is one more this uh, challenge is coming in the and another thing is uh, as the there are a lot of guidelines are coming uh, from the uh, government side but no one is clear no one has been able to give the what are the proper guidelines they are saying you deduct uh, this much portion and that portion but what how much so all this challenge as are uh, coming to the schools so and to the parents uh, that that exactly what uh, probably we we'll discuss uh, in the later questions and i would want to keep mm -hmm. this part uh, you know for the later discussion as well so that uh, mm -hmm. we want katna ma'am to you know answer a couple of these questions in our later discussion uh, thank you mm -hmm. ma'am and very quickly amit ji if you could uh, point out a couple of things that come to your mind as a parent 
uh, and of course uh, from the delivery side you've seen uh, that you know what kind of challenges we face right thanks so well so uh, you can you can hear uh, me right? no, not, uh, yeah yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, so I come from the era which is uh, where when when we never paid attention in the back benches, we received the piece of chalk. So I come from that particular era, and I've seen uh, education uh, you know, grow, of course, as well as uh, prosper in different ways. Well, having said that, there are two aspects here. One is uh, you know it will take some time for the students and the parents to adapt to this because it's a change on either sides, right? So. As a parent, what I see is the student, first of all, is confused on what's happening because the teacher earlier was right in front there and you know, had that eye contact. Uh, what is very critical for uh, you know any communication is your eye contact with your uh, students or children there, which is missing today. Uh, second is that the, the teacher will not be able to pay attention in the way she used to uh, be, you know, was, was able to do that. But I think uh, on the other side, if I see a, a delivery role, it's a new challenge for the teachers. I think skill is something which is involved, which will come up here. And to quickly synopsize my point, I think technology will just take a couple of months to, you know, to get into place. The two things which are very important is how is it that we go ahead and do the change management on either side. So I think that is required. Last but not, uh, you know, last the last point here is I think. This technology uh, learning will stay, will survive, but will be a parallel. I think it will never be able to replace the classroom. The moment right. we are normal, I think we'll have the classrooms back. So I think that's my submission. Yes. yes. I think I always, uh, so we uh, exactly before 10 years, we used to do these kind of seminars across cities in India to educate or talk with schools for digital learning, smart class. And uh, I used to always mention, uh, which you just reminded me of, that uh, the teacher is always going to be there. A, lo a lot of these questions used to come then that uh, e-learning is going to replace teachers and so on and so forth. And the answer was always that teacher is always going to be there. The, the role of teacher is critical, important, and it will always remain so. My next question to you, uh, ma'am, Kalpana ma'am, is that what is an if efficient way of looking at this situation from school's perspective, what are the core things we must be taking care of as a school? What are those core things uh, that I should be taking care of? See, as a school, the first and the foremost thing that schools should see is teachers training, which is very, very important because last time, I mean, 21 days, okay, everyone tried. But now since it's here to stay, then we have to do it. Whatever we do, we need to do it to the best of our capability, ability. And we need to empower our teachers, upgrade our teachers. So teachers upgradation is very, very important. Google is doing it very, I mean, you just have to connect with them and they will do it for your schools. Right. So we've just got it done the other day. Then, you know, you have to make strategies because it is not only teaching. You have to think about, you know, your activities, your uh, assessments, your evaluations. Everything is to be thought about. So all yeah. that planning also needs to be done. And you yeah. need to, I mean, uh, at, at this point of the time, I think every school should invest in two things. One is the upgradation of teachers. Secondly, to find more and more platforms where which and the tools which we can use, the teachers can use in their day-to-day -day work. And even when the schools will reopen, it is now blended learning, the learning is kind of a way of life for us. And in a way, if you go to see, I mean, as you were saying that you wanted to, uh, you know, you were after the uh, schools that they should have uh, these uh, smart classes smart class. and all. Yeah. So, the, like we were always for flipped learning, that we right. teachers should use flipped learning. Right. Many of them did, many of them did not do. But today, do we have any choice? We don't have a choice. And there is so much of, you know, learning material is up there in the cloud. It is, we need to upgrade our teachers to select 
the material, whatever learning material they want to share with the children, that selection has to be very good and up to the mark. Besides that, Dilshad had raised one thing that there are no guidelines. Yes, from the government side, there are no guidelines, but please go and visit NCRT sites. All irrespective of the boards, I think we should go visit NCRT sites and the CBSE schools must visit CBSE sites. There are guidelines, there are curriculums, planned curriculum uh, at the NCRT site for four weeks for every class, you know, from okay. elementary level to the higher secondary for various okay. subjects. And these are activity embedded, uh, you know, curriculum, whatever they have uh, right. uh, given and in that they have links to videos they have everything there so right. we need to keep abreast of all the things that are happening around there are so many uh, webinars that have happened like a person like me i'm slightly technologically challenged but at this point of the time i realize that i need to sit in practically every webinar listen Maybe something I'll understand and I've understood quite a lot and I've been able to find out things. So right. I think as an educator and when you are heading a school and you because teachers will look up to you and right. if you don't have any guidelines, teachers will always look up to you. So you need to know what all is available, how you need to, you know, coordinate, network arrange all those things for your children so that as uh, Bini said that this is the transformational phase yes it is and this kind of tra transformation we've never seen so we right. need to keep our ears eyes open we have to be on our toes all the time and the the only thing is that the, every school should have two or three teachers especially their IT department completely dedicated towards this work and they should i mean there should be a kind of a yeah i think uh, there's some network uh, problem there we just lost your audio ma'am uh, I'm sure uh, she's going to be back again. Meanwhile, if others are able to hear me, am I audible? Yes. Yes. So, uh, ma'am, this question is to you. Uh, by the time Kalpana ma'am joins in again, uh, ma'am, could you could you tell me those one or two challenges which you, uh, Bini ma'am, this question is for you. Could you tell me one or two challenges that you uh, saw your teachers facing in this last two three months? One or two challenges which you feel are teacher challenges. Bini ma'am, uh, yeah. are you? Oh, uh, so here question. Oh, so Hello, am I audible, ma'am? Okay, I think there is some uh, glitch there. I would pass so, on. So well, uh, yes, yes, Samadhi. Okay, while I think we get uh, the connection back in, if I may just pitch in a couple of uh, challenges uh, which I have seen as a parent. Sure, um, sure. When, you know, I've, I've actually seen. Uh, teachers deliver a program see one is the technology management aspect of course uh, with the interface that you're working on whether it is zoom or whether it is uh, a google right mm -hmm. it just takes a few days i think to get uh, sorted uh, that's a very short term challenge there but the yeah. major uh, you know transformation uh, you know which also ma'am mentioned that comes in is how do we skill our, our teachers in yes. handling this virtually so how is it that i can manage so a very simple uh, you know aspect is that you have a rule in place where you can place everybody on mute and then you have a a, a way and a uh, to put across saying that if somebody has a question raise your hand put your name in the chat window and then i'll address that so i think those are those skill areas on a virtual platform which are very critical 
which i feel is a is, is a very big challenge to and will require a couple of months of brush up there but right. i think we should be doing good with the kind of uh, dedication uh, you know teachers have uh, across the country as as india is concerned there yeah i think uh, yeah back i think that's where that's where katna ma'am mentioned that uh, schools must get invested into uh, harnessing these skills within their teachers so that they become more efficient at using tools in a better way in a more productive way uh, so that uh, more justice can happen while the online teaching learning is happening uh, of course i'm going to uh, ask this question uh, bini ma'am i was asking you before that i see one question that comes in uh, Uh, from the audience which i would want to point out to kalpana ma'am to answer this uh, ma'am there is a question that uh, a lot of the schools are trying to also do some form of teaching learning through whatsapp and telegram yes. now uh, one of course it is a easily accessible tool for teachers and parents both so it's a good thing to do definitely yes. but uh, my question is that how much should happen i think that's where a lot of us are missing on because as you mentioned in the start that this this time is something which is not expected and it came so whatever came in our way we just get started with it yes. if, if it was zoom if it was google meet if it was whatsapp if it is telegram but i think now you passed on a quarter or more three four months down the line and uh, now if we can if we can uh, kind of uh, narrow down on how much and what needs to be done and uh, i think now slowly we need to uh, move from experimenting to narrowing down on what should of actually course. happen of course so i'm not see on this the first thing is that uh, they they've talked about the whatsapp platform yeah in one of our we have an isr uh, isr uh, section there in our school where children from the neighboring village come and study we have about 200 children studying there and we use whatsapp so initially teachers made some videos and sent now they made videos in english and sent right so my i uh, when i saw that i just gave them one instruction that do you think the parents will understand english they will not and children right. also all the instructions they will not understand so whatever you want them to do give an mm -hmm. audio along with it in hindi okay. so that parent will be able to help the child to do the work and right. this is how they managed up till now and mm -hmm. besides that what we have done is uh, we don't have those you know 8 to 2 classes no you can't have so much of screen time we have okay. four classes per day for the higher classes say from 9 to the 12 four classes with 15 minutes break in between right and two teachers monitoring one is the teacher who is teaching another teacher is there to see what the because children at that age adolescents at least i mean they they can do anything they right and notations yeah. this that so all yeah. those things we've taught besides that i think those things nitty gritties we need to know but i think our lesson plans also should change yes yes i think that's an important point ma'am lesson plans uh, we, need, we to need to change understand. because a lot of uh, teachers sorry to interrupt here but i get a lot of queries in there uh, and i feel that the biggest uh, gap or mistake which is happening is i have a lesson plan for my physical classroom yes i am trying to replicate the same lesson plan in the virtual session no, no. does not No, it doesn't work it has an adverse effect yes it, it does. doesn't work so basically we need to understand how do we change our lesson plan what are the you know the nuances we need to change we yeah. cannot compromise on the content and this should not be very content heavy right. that is if you go and see the ncrt web, uh, website if you've heard the uh secretary Ed uh, education speak if you mm -hmm. heard the ncrt uh, chairman speaks they mm -hmm. all tell us that you know this your classes should not be content heavy at the same time they should be you know be contextual skills whatever skills are required those should be there practicals or the activities with children with 
teachers can do and showcase. Mm -hmm. And those activities, if children can do at home with simple things, so right. it is very clearly mentioned there. So we initially, we, we our teachers were also doing the same things. All of us were doing the same thing. We were using right. the similar lesson plan. But our, right. I think after 10, 15 days, we realized, though, this is not going to work. So we used right. to have Zoom training sessions for teachers. Let's see how this is the way we can change. This is how we can bring in this kind of activity where parents are also involved. So, you know, but with the involvement of a parent, at least till grade seven, till grade eight, it becomes easier for children to do the work. And uh, I mean, their application of that uh, concept increases. It doesn't decrease. Right. So the teachers have to find out all those things that only talk and talk you can't do now. Can't so do you now. need to find out ways and means right. so that your end purpose is achieved. Because your this also brings this also brings us to a point uh, which we were saying that you cannot continue to just uh, you know experiment. You cannot be experimenting endlessly no. as a no. school as a, as a teacher. You cannot afford to experiment for for more than three months, four months, or five months. You need to understand what WhatsApp is meant for. You need to understand what Telegram can be helpful for, uh, what Google Meet can do, what uh, any other platform can, and a, a, a mix of these things have to be in place in order to achieve the ultimate objective. Then we need to do some meaningful transactions for kids and uh, like you mentioned wherever the parent support is available that's uh, the best thing to do Bini ma'am this question which was pending uh, for you is that uh, could you please tell us one or two challenges which you saw your teachers facing in this last three months or four months of time here coming back yes in the initial stage like as ma'am said ki 15 days, first 15 days, first 21 days, everyone was, everyone were enjoying the lockdown period in real sense, if I say. And everyone was hoping that April month we will be covering the things. And if we want, we will be taking some extra classes in the month of May. Right. Then so one of the issues that I have taken from my side, then slowly, because I didn't take that teacher, because teachers were not ready for systems to be adopted. So we were supposed to train the teachers, we were supposed to bring up the technology as per the requirement. Everything was important. So now coming back to teachers' point of view, first thing, willingness, adaptability. Right. Acceptance that was very important because okay. so we had a Zoom meeting, we called for and we requested the teachers, we convinced them that this is the need of the hour. You cannot now look back. We have to move ahead with the same situation because the things are getting worsening. We need to adapt the situation what we are facing, though it is not decided by us. But we need to adapt the situation. We need to find positivity. As an educator, we have to. Uh, teach our children we have to give education to our children mm -hmm. so for that teachers need to change their uh, mentality teachers need to change their uh, routine way of teaching in the class that was the first challenge Second yeah. one, it's about again coming back to technology all teachers are not so well acquainted with they are not friendly with technology frankly speaking here we yeah. all have started training especially me if I, if I say zoom google meet webinars this, all these are very uh, fresh for us. All these are very new for us. Yeah. Similarly, many teachers are facing the same situation. So upgrading the teachers technologically, that was the second challenge. Yeah. Third one is teachers who used to take 40 minutes in a class to teach a particular topic. Now Kiyoshi has to come with a gist, uh, an error-free content. And that is to be shared to the students on a social media platform. That is right. a big challenge. In the initial stage, when I asked my teachers to mm -hmm. teach no, by using video, they were not ready to use it because they were afraid of. 
because teachers are teachers they are not no born actors okay when it comes to comes in front of the camera even we also get nervous there is some amount of camera consciousness that comes in yeah yes so these were the challenges which are actually faced by my teachers got it got it i got think it. it will be general context for everyone everyone i'm yes, i'm sure uh, a lot of them so uh, just out of the context that we are discussing uh, kalpana ma'am just mentioned that i'm not technology savvy and you know i no, consider no, no. i've been hearing i've been hearing her saying this for years and i've always seen her adapted to all the new things that come in no, but- No, no, but so hill. A teacher is a teacher. Teacher needs to adapt. In in yeah. the, in one classroom, there she Binis just now said there are forty children. A yes. true teacher has to adapt herself, her teaching to all those forty children. Yes. She cannot leave somebody behind. You know. So teachers need to adapt and evolve. That if yeah. if they don't do this consistently, I don't think then we can call ourselves teachers. teachers Definitely. because see i am the dinosaur amongst all the few <laughs> it's a tech so i mean where what we used to do today if i share i mean that will be people would say acha aisa hota tha kya so wow. you know i mean it's okay you need to change you need to adapt and another thing that is the fact of life if you don't adapt and you don't learn every day then you are left behind and who wants to left be, leave i mean left behind at least i would change, like change is the only constant only constant is yes. right? and so, you have to uh, work bringing, in, bringing in dilshad ma'am here dilshad ma'am do you think uh, largely largely do you think uh, educators are uh, equipped to sail through now i'm talking i asked bini ma'am about what challenges they face what i'm asking you is do you think now uh teachers at large are equipped to sail through this or there is something more which needs to be done or helped uh, uh to uh, tell you the thing that teachers are they equipped or not i am not very sure about all the schools but the virtual schools i have been visiting at least 80% of the teachers are not equipped uh, they don't know how to handle even the Come uh, systems properly, and uh, I don't know the uh, quality, the selection done by the school are so low that uh, they are they cannot speak also properly. So I don't think the schools are equipped, the teachers are equipped with the thing I, which I have been visiting, sure, maybe sure. in Hyderabad and Maharashtra. That is sure. what I have observed. I think the uh, skills. something that uh, so, you try uh, to get so, in front skill set is something that you're trying to get in front that the kind of skill sets required in today's generation yes. of teachers is something that schools yes. need to critically look into because there yes. there can be such many situations that can come in and teachers need to be yes. uh, flexible enough like ma'am was mentioning uh, to adapt yes. to uh, you know situations like this uh amit ji uh, uh, i would want to uh, ask this to you now that uh, as a parent uh, what comes to your mind when your child's school is being missed so learning or online classes might be happening that's no doubt about it but as a parent how do you see it when your child is not going to school for like almost 4 months now i got in touch with a lot of parents and uh, the first thing that i got to hear is bhaiya kuch bhi karo school start karo या बच्चों को पूरा दिन हम नहीं संभाल सकते हैं स्कूल जाते हैं तो हमें थोड़ी शांति रहती है सो आई मीन दिस इज आल्सो अनदर चैलेंज व्हिच पेरेंट्स वर टेलिंग अबाउट सो व्हाट इज योर व्यू ऑन दैट सो सो आई थिंक देयर देयर आर टू आंसर्स दैट विल कम फ्रॉम टू डिफरेंट पेरेंट्स यू नो द डैड वुड ऑलवेज से समथिंग एल्स एंड द मदर हु इज बीइंग सीइंग द चाइल्ड एंड यू नो टेकिंग केयर ऑफ द चाइल्ड डे इन एंड डे आउट of course who's been bringing up the child uh, to the school and bringing the child back from the school will have a, a different challenge there see what i definitely miss and that's where my view point as a parent is that the the school environment uh, will have to be there in a parallel so what is missing for the child and what i think is is missing for my child today is the social environment the the child would face you know pick up any kind of a theory today into learning for example 
we'll always talk that 10% of your learning happens in your classroom 20% happens on social in social interactions and 70% happens when you actually do things so learning by doing somewhere will be greatly missing on an e learning platform there or any kind of a, a social platform so i think uh, one is this is here to stay tomorrow if we have heavy rains or something like this i think we can do it uh, online but a parallel should be there the social interaction is missing uh, the child's development of communication uh, with you know different levels teachers and uh, the different aspects of a society because i think you know school is like a big society there that's the biggest worry i think for uh, my kid that i have on uh, the interaction level there i think the rest we can cope with things that should be fine sure sure so Makes sense. uh yes kalna this this question uh, is hi, to you hi, uh, yes. this is coming I, in uh, from what audience is asking haan ji just one I question can't. i'll take from haan. the audience okay. i am i'm seeing a question that that uh, says that how much of screen time uh, a lot of Absolutely. the parents are asking how yes. much of screen time and uh, in what see. age group see like we have uh, we were getting messages you know from our nursery children uh, the new nursery that has had come in and the nursery children who are promoted to junior kid so when will the school reopen class kab lagega they would send uh, these messages to their teachers uh, but at the same time we realized right from the very beginning we had decided that all right for the preschoolers our basic thing is that the teacher should meet them like we have in the school we have a circle time practice so that morning circle time uh, one day they do circle time with children so that hardly takes 40 not even 40 minutes and in then those 40 minutes all those children speak to each other right on they they are sitting with their mother and they talk to each other they talk to teachers at least some kind of connect is there yeah. one day the teachers take a story related to maybe they uh, in, include you know numeracy as well as literacy in that very story for the very young children Right. one day they will take such certain kind of activity which the mothers can also do at home they explain okay. it how to do it and that they explain it to the mothers and often it is a constant uh, i mean i must say the teachers also i mean hats off to them that they make an effort to talk to them our school is also an inclusive school we have children who have different difficulty they have different difficulty levels there are down syndrome children and all so those teachers speak to them each day each day one activity now coming to grade 1 2 3 we have 40 to 60 minutes not more than that at all okay uh, that includes their circle time is a must every day little okay. bit of you know music or art or one day they have you know some i mean every day the classes are like one day they will have a music class another day they have an art class but then music and art whatever they will do will be related to the kind of work the uh, you know the topic what the teacher wants to teach so that way what happens is it they have interacted with these two teachers then uh, one day they will have a math class one day they will have a theme class one day story session story session after story session generally english teachers will do some work with them give a worksheet but now they've started using padlets so you know they write certain things on padlets padlets are saved children okay. can also with the help at home they do it they send it back to their teachers this is what we are doing fourth okay. fifth onwards it's 80 minutes of class okay fourth fifth is 80 minutes every right. day time is fixed we have not changed the time because okay. that morning time we have to set a routine and mm -hmm. then you know six onwards because then the subjects increase right but then okay. we are also following because in that ncrt curriculum they have given you know multidisciplinary approaches there 
So right. we are also using multidisciplinary approach in our lesson plans, in our teaching. All the teachers, all subject teachers, they have a meeting a day prior when they have to do this, that what are we going to teach today and which part you will take and which part you will incorporate in math, which part I can incorporate in science or social right. science, whatever, wherever that multidisciplinary uh, things they can do we are doing it that way ninth onwards because 10th is a cbsc exam and even for that whatever that uh, ncrt has given we are really following that because i think that is that curriculum what they have given it for four weeks now again yes. after after four weeks next four weeks will come so till the time this pandemic i mean till the time the school vis schools will be closed to have a base to follow right mm -hmm. on that teachers also can build up things but for them like the older children 11th and 12th we have four hours and that to four hours with 15 minutes after every 35 minutes of gap okay. Okay. 15 minutes is a shifting time because they need so to proper, get a, a proper plan of uh, how much screen time in what age group has to be in place uh, I we see have, a lot of schools. Uh, another fun thing is, uh, yeah. I might forget, Sohil, I'm sorry to disrupt you, oh, but yeah. we have made an advisory also. We have okay. made an advisory how much screen time, how far they should keep their computer screen, or uh, if they are using a phone, then how far they have to keep it. So, all this we have sent to the parents first. That advisory mm -hmm. we have sent, and we mm -hmm. have uh, time and again we speak to them that please follow it because your children's eyes are also very very special they are precious eyesight is very very precious but the only dichotomy is that you know they will say no to this but when it comes to playing games on mobiles then nobody bothers about the screen time you know, that right. is, but yes, as a school, as an educational institute, we have taken that much care from our side. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Bini, ma'am, uh, going ahead of this, what ma'am just said, I would also want to know as an as a uh, principal, as an admin person who is responsible of uh, taking care of uh, the interest of all the stakeholders. We have talked about the teacher's part. Can you help us understand uh, one or two challenges that you face with parents and students in this new scenario? Yeah, well, regarding parents, you know, previously it used to happen, teachers used to guide the students. They used to explain the thing, things through, through experiential learning. They used to conduct the classes. They used to conduct the activities, especially I'm talking about smaller ones. Right. Now, teachers are sending the materials, teachers are sending the audios, videos, your live sessions. Now, the parents' role is little important, little more than the teachers. Parents need to have that patience to sit with the child, to explain the things, because all children definitely they cannot understand first standard. Up to at least fifth standard grade, they will not be able to understand and do the things by themselves. So, parents' role is very important. So, here we want to have a very uh, accepting role of parents means parents should be always a step ahead to help the students okay. that is about parents now regarding students students as sir earlier said keep now we are only focusing on our social skills they are not even able to out of their uh, flats. So saying that they are not even able to out from their uh, flats. They are not able to share their emotions. Here, they are not able Now, the things are, you know, the entire scenario, scenario has changed. So, students also take time to accept the things. Now, the senior students, when I take live classes, they frequently ask, Ma'am, when the school will re restart, that means they are really missing the school. They are really missing their teachers. They are re really missing the friends. So that is really pathetic from the viewpoint of students. But we are helpless. We have to continue with the same system by adding more into our inputs, adding more to what we are doing. 
this of course in the beginning stage we have we had a trial and error method nobody had a full proof method ki that can be adapted forever we are completely following trial and error method but now somewhere we are relaxed here we are into a proper path we are into a proper route where we can rely on but students they are not satisfied naturally they are not satisfied talking about the social skills and emotional skills we are really missing the school we are really uh, missing the teachers and their friends of course and parents i can i can share with you uh, my 5 year old uh, tells me that after her day one um, daddy i want to go to school online ma itli maza nahi aave i don't enjoy so much in the online and then after some explanation day 2 day 3 onwards she is now okay with it that yes now i can talk to my friends at least i'm able to speak to my teacher of course with a limited uh, time each day but uh, i think uh, one important thing that we also need to understand and uh, the next uh, input i would want from amit sir to come in here is that uh, we we also need to understand that parents also are a part of this experiment and uh, why we are expecting support from them for them also they have their own way of looking at it so their expectation might be something very different because they are not a part of uh, you know what is happening in the school or what the school is planning or what the teacher is planning so they don't have that visibility like what ma'am said that if the advisory sends all these details to the parents or if they have been oriented about uh, what the school is planning i think then the support mechanism will be much much more better and uh, the parent participation will be more uh, helpful uh, amit sir the question to you from here on is that uh, how do you think because you do a lot of online stuff with within your uh, you know company with colleagues uh, from that part if you could share how can peer to peer learning happen in this scenario or whether it can happen also or not of course the academicians uh, the teachers and principals would give in their view but what do you think uh, what what can happen peer to peer learning ke liye kya ho sakta hai so uh, i think let me start with maybe a 60000 feet answer uh, to you know answer this question see one is that before any school would approach Uh, into e-learning or or virtual learning, I think there should be some priming done. There should be some priming done by some the, some of the school authorities with the parents. So before we start with uh, the online classes, I think there should be a one-week class set up for parents first of all. What is it that that is changing? What is happening? Explain them the why of the situation, right? Uh, because many parents would have a perspective saying, "Arey, ye to bahut asan ho gaya. Ab inte ho to khali baam baat ke bolna hai." It, that's not easy so i think schools should also address this first with teaching the parents on what is going to happen training them on how do you work with the child and once that is in confidence i think that is where the take of parents and the responsibility of the parents can be asked and if i look at a parent view there or else what is what is a typical scenario when i've been uh, you know looking at uh, the zoom and the the google app my kid sits on from uh, say 9 in the morning till 12 i see so many parents struggling on the screen there and i see 50% of the parents struggling on the screen looking at the screen all around trying to help the child so priming up the parents is important second i think the curriculum the way it is created uh, it internationally it is said that a one day of a training program or learning if you do it e- on e learning or a virtual platform i think 2.5 hours is a norm beyond a 2.5 hour you will burn out the thing lastly what is this is a is an important thing is priming up the parents in ensuring that they help the child read your e learning or your virtual uh, learning is only an interaction it's only to give instructions to a great extent honestly you will, your child will learn but also there should be a guidelines to be shared with parents saying after the child is done with the classes what do ch- the children do leave the laptop run and play there's nothing that is happening so what should he read how should he read so an extension of school bench inside the house is what is needed i think sure 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 uh of course uh, this also falls in line with uh, the overall plan that kalpana ma'am was mentioning about 
Kalpana, this question is to you. I see a lot of people writing it in the comments uh, about uh, the younger age group. What should be done with the younger age group for for nursery, junior, senior? And you did mention about that in your school how it happened. But yeah. uh, I mean, uh, can you can you spell out uh, some boundaries, some plan for the parents? Uh, I am a parent to a preschooler, and I feel that uh, I shouldn't be quite concerned. Of course, we are into education, but then a lot of uh, parents would not understand what should a parent do with preschoolers, and how much focus should be given to you know ha having these preschoolers engaged in some form of online learning. See, as far as preschoolers are concerned. Uh, now, since I'm a dinosaur, so I'll speak about old times. Veteran is the word, ma'am. Veteran is the word. <laughs> I have chosen the word. Dinosaur, right? Yeah. So, because my granddaughter wants to be a dinosaur all the time. So, I'm the mama grand dinosaur. Okay. So, the thing is that you, you, if you remember your childhood, once you were in the, your mother would make chapatis, she would give some atta to you. Yes. 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 You would play with that. Uh, yes. If you remember in the nursery in Bhaskar Diti, what did we have? We had, everyone had a box of 100 uh, those uh, buttons or buttons. anything, Marbles. anything whatsoever. Yeah. Marbles I didn't allow. Buttons were allowed. If you remember, <laughs> marbles were allowed. Or Rajma or anything, Marbles. you know. Yeah. To engage a young child, especially till I think till age eight and nine, by mothers at home is not difficult, because schools give certain things. All right, keep that in mind. Read to your children. Reading with children, reading to children is, I think, the key to bringing up a emotionally stable child. Because reading is the time. If you read to your children each day, you will connect with them. That connect, will you will bond with them. That emotional bonding will last a very long time. Reading books, I, I generally, Wapi school, I remember, Ato kai kare ni akho diva samtem machya kare chopriyo ne amati to kai bhanwanu thodi thai. Don't think that. Kitab koi bhi ho, bacha Gujarati padhe, Hindi padhe, bhasha seek raha hai. Aur bhasha jab tak nahi aayegi, tab tak wo communicate kaise karega? Bhasha ka jamna zaruri hai. Aap usko chahe twinkle padhae, usko padne de, chacha chaudhari padhe, kuch bhi padhe. Padhe raha hai bacha. Padhna zada important hai. Because once you read, you understand. Aap padhenge, apni bhasha mein padhenge, to aapko uska matlab bhi samaj mein aayega na. So, in this way, in the story books, generally I have seen, young parents are very anxious. They waste time, they do this, Don't do that. Engage them in meaningful activity. If a meaningful if a child starts reading, I don't think the child will ever leave the books. Secondly, there are stories these days. There are so many books available wherein and these are the i'm not talking about very expensive books you see children book trust national book trust go see the books they are within four and a half thousand i have an entire library full of uh, full of books which can cater to children till grade two grade three there are two language books double language books today bilingual books which are available uh, yes. wherein you have in Hindi or in Gujarati and in English and Gujarati. All these books, you have to open your eyes. lockdown whenever you do your housework, Right. You know, very easy so, things to do. Man, this brings in one more point here that uh, 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 you can suggest it. I can understand. A lot of other teachers can understand this. 
But I think then the parents don't understand the development that is happening in these activities, and that's why they feel these are all meaningless things to do. As a school, if we can educate to some extent with some examples that if you are teaching your child to move separately, then his fine motor skills are being developed. Developed. So that's done. No, so we actually what happens is that we have a misconception. in our country that you know children should be sitting straight without moving and they must write i always tell parents especially younger parents each child takes time to write you cannot a likhna padhai nahi hai likhna seekhna nahi hai likhna kya hai ek kill hai jo aapne jo kuch seekha uska end result hai that is why when we read language first what do you do you speak right right start with speaking yeah then listening speaking and then reading and uh, writing yeah. comes at the end yeah. but this we need to speak see parent communication is the most important that's the crux of the matter you have yeah. to speak to the parents even at this time we have had counseling sessions for the parents yeah. even one session i arranged with lavanya lavanya did a session with my parents because what happened was that parents are very anxious you know and i don't deny and i don't undermine their anxiety they are anxious on both ways see uh, these days certain jobs are going the in- income in the houses have become less and you know so there are so many things which a parent is struggling to you know face struggling literally struggling and they need certain kind of guidance certain kind of not only padhai likhai to theek hai hogi padhai likhai kab hogi jab unki mental health unki wellness hogi tabhi to hogi na to bachcho ke liye bhi aur bado ke liye bhi we have to do this we as a school we need to make an effort to work on their wellness emotional balance is very important their health is very important you can have a yoga session for parents have it nahi ek din nahi padhaoge wo chalega par agar ye karoge to aap kahin na kahin connect karoge na parents se parents ko bhi samajh aayega ki aapke nahi aap jo bhi kuch kar rahe ho wo bacche ke hit mein hai uska aap bura nahi cha rahe so we need to you know we need to be we can't remain fixed in certain you know those four walls we have to open up and we have to see how we can reach out because reaching out to parents reaching out to our children is very very crucial at this point of time because of their anxieties because of all these other problems financial problems so many other problems are happening yeah. emotional problems are increased people have become, so all these things we need to and as a school and as school leaders we need to see that also because until and unless they are not stable they are not well how are they going to perform then you don't expect fir aapne quorum pura kar liya aapne padha liya bas par uska jo outcome hai wo aapko nahi milega this is what i think i don't know sure, sure. yeah i think that makes complete sense ma'am uh, dilshad ma'am a question to you is that uh, what yes. would you what would you suggest uh, as an immediate measure uh, or an action that should be taken to help uh, parents from schools mm-hmm. what what are those one or two things you feel we can do to help parents who don't have connectivity or who have other challenges who have a lot of questions what are those one or two things you would suggest as a school we should do what uh, uh, kalpana ma'am was telling is totally right that uh, the parents have to be connected first so you now the schools uh, duty you can say they should make it as a duty that they open one port for the parents to get connected so they become emotionally strong nowadays the uh, the parents are not strong enough they are becoming emotionally weak and they are not able to help their child so here the one thing if the school takes up that they first approach the parents and they try to help the parents rather than the child 
here the parents are more important now coming because they are not able to judge it out ke what is happening what is going to happen future is totally you know they are trying uh, their level best to understand every day new things are coming in the market and you know uh, uh, sometimes the uh, things are said ke from july the schools will open sometimes they says ke no till december it so here the parents are totally broke they are not able to understand how will they go for work right. uh, will they will they be able to leave their child behind so if the school helps them out in this way whatever the connectivity part is yes you can upgrade them how to take the connectivity what are the ways and means they can you know uh, do their way so yes. this is something uh, you know the parents have to be uh, first educated give yes that is a very important factor and the second then the we should start approaching the children first the parents is very important factor because nowadays i have seen lot of parents are peeping into the uh, online classes rent, uh, rather than the uh, children and even they are bashing the uh, child if uh, the child is looking here and there because uh, they feel that all the time the child has to look at the screen only then the so child will learn uh, and there are a lot of questions in the first session that my daughter uh, had yes uh, sorry there was a question that was coming in to all the kids preschoolers senior kg kids uh-huh. that they were asking only two things uh-huh. and do you get up and the next question is what did you do in the lockdown and like any other parent uh-huh. i was to you know give this uh, input to my daughter that you tell that you were doing work kids and you were doing this and that uh-huh. by the time i tell her this Uh, the question came to her, and she said, "I was doing cooking during the lockdown." Mm-hmm. So, I mean, kids, uh, kids do it their own way. They they like doing it. Uh, yes, yes. They want to do it. Uh, of course, uh, taking your point, uh, Dilshad Ma'am, that parents need to be taken in loop. They must be helped. Yes. Uh, in clearing their confusions. Uh, in in contribution to this, uh, Amit sir, the question is to you. uh the other important uh, aspect that we've been discussing and i see a lot of comments in here that uh, teachers uh, are already equipped or they are trying their level best could you as as a person from the learning and development background and uh, training is something that we do a lot could you please uh, highlight a couple of takeaways for those teachers who are uh, seeing this session uh, or who will see this later also what are the things that teachers should do in order to harness their uh, skills with different platforms or technology uh it's so well i think uh, a very important point here uh, one to start with i think we haven't invested in our teachers as a, as a country first of all you know, to start uh, with this statement and that's the reason we are here right? uh, talk about any other profession i think we have great universities we have sponsorships coming up and what all things Uh, to answer your question, I think what teachers can immediately do, right, is learn in a very simple way. Watch the news channel, see how news anchors, you know, communicate. One. Second is, of course, do not go with the Arnab's debate show there. Uh, that's something which we really don't want there. Too. But typically, if you see, uh, there are certain aspects uh, which uh, a teacher can look at is ensure they can keep, uh, you know. Uh, they can program the children on how the session will learn, work. So keep telling them that I am now going to place everybody on mute. I will not unmute till we finish this. Second is, for example, give instructions slow and steady, clear. Because when you are on a on a virtual medium, to catch up on the attention from a child's end is is not that easy. So you'll have to go a bit slow. You'll have to repeat things. You have to go slow. Second is. you must have realized that any virtual program has a delay and a, and a, and a lag there is a lag so, there is a lag absolutely so you know give instructions wait for a few seconds and listen back again and one of you know one of the techniques which we always use and i personally use is the round robin technique uh, when we run, run a, a workshop for example for 12 to 15 people uh, for that matter you could place the child on a clock Say for example, you'll say Rahul, you are at twelve o'clock. You can say uh, Shitish, you are at one o'clock. And when I ask a question, we'll go in a clockwise fashion. So now the the child really knows, for example, that when is his turn to answer. 
so you know these are some techniques uh, which uh, a, a, a teacher can really work on and of course i think practice the platform on uh, a lot of demo calls so yeah. probably get another teacher practice the platform what happens when you click this what happens when you click that uh, pause have uh, you know you know a paced way to instruct too many instructions at the same time will kill the entire show so i think you know there's a lot that we can train uh, teachers on on the communication aspect that can we can do virtually of course there and of course on the on the platform skills of uh, what google would give or maybe a zoom would give it's very much important for the teacher to practice that watch news readers uh, and practice i think that that's one of the best ways to understand sure 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 uh uh bini ma'am this this question is to you i'm sure uh, uh you come across a lot of questions from parents also in your school and uh, your school is doing a lot of things uh what are a few concerns that you have for which you are also trying to look for solutions and then i'll move to you know kalpana ma'am having answer to this what are those few concerns which are still you know open and you are still looking for a solution uh which have come from parents to you yeah like one yes, i okay. to just start with one i can share is that okay i have a phone but i am working from home and i need my phone so i cannot have that phone with my child for the online session now that can be one yes. concern so yeah one, one is lack of device yeah first one is lack of devices if three children siblings are studying three yeah some cases in some of the families four are also just studying in the same school so there is a clash yeah. second one is facility of internet okay. third one is like uh, electricity sometimes there is electricity is not available that time they are not able to connect so okay. what we are doing is we are sending videos and audio so that at the same time they can reach they can reach to them to solve all these three problems okay. there are few cases where they use one mobile or one uh, laptop for three children to go around internet problem is the existing electricity connection existing so to solve this we to find out the solution for this what we are doing is sending the videos and audios to the parents so as and when this system uh, is okay for them they can use it okay okay fine this is a special concern second thing is uh, parents so the question arises from the parents and i'm telling you yeah. the, the videos or audios what we send it cannot be a 5 minutes or 10 minutes more than it can it's not affordable so yeah. is it enough for a child to understand the entire topic right. this is another question which has been raised by one of my parent i'm telling you right. so i we know that it's not completely enough we are doing our level best it's like something is better than nothing means yes. a classroom teaching cannot be replaced with online teaching Right. So we, at this point of time, we are trying to give something right. so that the child will be active enough, he will be equipped enough to go ahead in the present scenario. Right, right, right. So, uh, Kalpana, just one or two more things which I read in the comments. I would want to add on yes. to what Bikram said, and then if you could answer this, so I can see a question uh, probably from a parent is that. what what can be the objective of an online session according to you as a parent what should i be expecting out of an online session which my child is attending i also see a question that uh, which you already answered in the start of your talk that in rural area where we hardly have any personal uh, devices how do we you know uh, ensure that the studies continue uh, mr shubham jaiswal has asked this so how about the rural students how can they become an active part see this uh, i was i told you we used whatsapp with the yeah. rural children now yeah. again the thing is that every parent doesn't have a smartphone right? right but then what we did was that we just initially we spoke to every teacher right. one rule is there that all parents have the class teachers phone number and yeah. there is a fixed time when every day a class teacher speaks to five six of her students parents that is a fixed criteria mm -hmm. because uh, that communication shouldn't break yeah. now in that case we what they did the ones who didn't have smartphones 
in the neighborhood they had some friends or some relative who had the smartphone so they would just you know they used to give those numbers and in the house if someone else had a smartphone that those numbers were given and that is how the work was shared but the teachers the audio this thing was given on the audio instructions were given to those parents by the teachers on the phone besides that these were all activity oriented videos nice. you know activity oriented videos that we sent that all right with your the things those are available in the house i'll give you a small little uh, example like uh, for and these children are all from the neighboring villages so mm -hmm. there was one this thing the teacher was was to teach them you know a, a mathematics teacher she wanted yeah. them to know volume and weight right mm -hmm. okay. you know what she did she said acha apni mummy ko aap aisa kare aapke ghar mein koi bade aadhe kilo ka ya kuch aisa koi bartan ho wo aap usme chawal bhar ke rakh le चावल दाल जो आपकी मर्जी है वो भर के रख लीजिए कोई भी अनाज भर सकती है जो आपको भरना की चाहो वो भर के रखिए जो आपके यहाँ कटोरी गिलास चम्मच जिससे बच्चे को उसको दूसरे उसमें डालना हो वो उसको वहां से शिफ्ट करें ठीक है नाउ वट है चाइल्ड हुज डन इट विद द स्पून ऑफकोर्स द नंबर ऑफ स्पून विल बी मोर द ग्लास विल बी लेस the katori will be midway somewhere so what the the initial concept of weight and volume right. is there abhi volume aap usko kisi aur tarike se weight samjhaye wo alag cheez hai lekin ek jo basic concept hai ki ye yeah. itne weight ki cheez hai itne agar hum glass dalenge to samajh aa jayega usko ke acha iska ye relationship hai then right. they were given ke aajkal tum jo aap, फल खा रहे हो तुम्हारे आसपास जो फल लगते हैं अब इन गांवों में आम बहुत लगता है जामुन बहुत लगता है सो व्हाट हैपेंड दे वर आस के जो भी फल खा रहे हो उसको धो लो धो के आप रखवा दीजिए और फिर उनको कहिएगा कि ये जब जैसे थोड़ा उसको बो देंगे जमीन में सो देर वर क्वेश्चन अच्छा खरबूजा एंड वॉटर मेलन इज ऑल्सो द सीजनल फ्रूट नाउ द चिल्ड्रेन ट्राइट सो खरबूजा और वाटरमेलन का बीज तो नहीं उगेगा उगा ही नहीं आम का तो फिर भी उग गया थोड़ा बहुत थोड़ा धनिया भी उगा थोड़ी मेथी भी उगी खरबूजा नहीं उगा ना उगा उनका वाटरमेलन तो ये हुआ कि जी दिस थिंग डिड नॉट हैपन तो फिर बच्चों ने टीचर से बात की कि मैम वो लगाया था वो उग गया ये नहीं उगा इसका क्या हुआ उन्होंने कहा जमीन देखी है अलग अलग तरह की जमीन लगती है यू you नो know? and understanding to the child that different seeds and different fruits also need different kinds of soils you know right so these things if we have these kind of activities for children what are we doing we are giving them the basic concept and then once the child starts thinking and there is that curiosity is built the children can do they do a lot of work together like that बहुत काम करते हैं अजीब अजीब से माँ बाप को लगता है कि गांव के माँ बाप एक चीज और आई विदेंट रूरल स्कूल भास्कर ड्यूटी एंड टूडे आई हैव सेट अप दिस स्कूल दैट स्कूल ऑल्सो आई वर्क हेयर ऑल्सो आई एम वर्किंग बट द एंजॉयमेंट आई हैड वर्किंग विद भास्कर ड्यूटी बिकॉज वेन द पेरेंट्स थिंक कि हमको नहीं पता है टीचर को पता है टीचर हैज सोल्यूशन शी कम्स द पेरेंट्स हैव एब्सोल्यूट फेथ इन द टीचर्स यू नो बट वेन द पेरेंट्स ऑफकोर्स हर एक की पढ़ाई लिखाई है बट कईयों को नो हाउ नहीं है ना लाइक अब पेरेंट्स लाइक अमित भाई हैव हैज द नो हाउ ही नोज द कॉन्टेक्स ही नोज एवरीथिंग देर आर सम पेरेंट्स हु गेट वेरी एंशियस के लखे नहीं तो सू थे ने बच से नहीं तो सू थे आटलू नहीं लखे तो के रीते चल से ऑल दैट यू नो दैट एंगजाइटी डज नॉट मेक योर चाइल्ड बच्चे को आपको फेथ तो रखना पड़ेगा स्कूल के ऊपर टीचर्स के ऊपर एंड दिस थिंग दैट डिस्कसिंग टीचर्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ द इन फ्रंट ऑफ द चिल्ड्रेन आई थिंक दैट्स नॉट डन 
all our right. ancient traditions and discuss and talk. I mean, teachers are see they are. Uh, Amit Bhai very rightly said that teachers should know how to. I mean, they should watch news anchors, right? Now, other day I got a phone call, a message by one parent that, ma'am, I was sitting in the class and the teachers were teacher was teaching mm -hmm. like that. You know, do you think it is justified? I said, sir, I'm sorry if you felt like that, but you don't know, it was her class. She was trying to do her level best and exactly the way she would have tackled in the club, face to face classroom, she was trying to tackle like that. But it yeah. didn't work, you know, it doesn't work. Slowly and slowly, teachers have learned. So parents ko teachers ka saath. Is vakat hume ye nahi dekhna hai ki teachers ye karte hain, wo karte hain. What we need to do is we need to work together. In, in right. you know, in complete, we have to have faith in the teachers. And teachers yeah. will also, and for that to earn that faith, a teacher needs to speak to the parent. Baat yeah. karna, baat karne mein kya jata hai? So you cannot avoid. You have to get in touch with them. You will have to present have what to. you That's a you must. Will the then, you know, don't be in a hurry. Take yeah. your this thing slow. Even in twelfth and twelfth, ke bache bade hain. Unke saath bhi still I have this feeling that we should not, you know, force things down their throat because they are not mentally prepared for that. So we need to slowly and slowly mold them into getting into that space where they are completely ready to absorb whatever comes their way. Uh, I would, I mean, I think we tried flipped learning earlier also. So flipped learning to my, this thing is very good. Everything is there on YouTube. Aap usme se Khan Academy ki koi aap apne science ka, maths ka, whatever you can give to them. Okay, you just go see this. Try and understand. We'll discuss it in the class. And this, is exactly, this is exactly what I've been doing for uh, last couple of weeks. As I can, uh, we've been into providing e-learning solutions and now yes. we've been giving the I can app where the e-learning content yes. is made available for all the students at home. So uh, the schools who are using this, uh, we've been having sessions with the teachers and uh, exactly this point that I've been discussing with teachers is that uh, the first of all, things do, as as teachers do not have a benchmark that only a Zoom class is uh, is teaching. What you can do is while your child who is sitting at home has the access of e-learning content in the app, you need yes. to have the list of content that is available. Tell your child that beta, we are going to uh, you know start the chapter of sound. There's this animation video, or this is the video which is available in the app. Just spend some time, see that video. And in the next session, I'm going to probably take up the explanation for this. Or probably you could come up with questions and we will have a discussion around this topic. Now, uh, I think that's the crux of uh, the, the, the total discussion that we've been having. I, I would like to add one more thing yes, yes. to this. I, I'm, yeah. I'm quite pleasantly surprised. Teachers have challenged them themselves to no extent. The other day, my music teacher walked up to me. He's a guitarist. He came to me, ma'am, my physics ka lesson banao kya koi? Banao? Acha hai banao ge tu. You know, he did something, a lesson, he created something on sound. Right? So what he did, usne kuch dal chawal aise anaj ko rakha aur zor zor se usne apna synthesizer ko bajana shuru. अब हर ट्यून जब बदलती है तो वो सारे वो क्योंकि साउंड वेव्स के हिसाब से वो उसके वो सब फॉर्मेशन चेंज होता है ये जस्ट डिड दिस 3 मिनट्स वीडियो एंड ही गिव टू द फिजिक्स पर्सन के यू नो ये आप अगर इस्तेमाल कर सके तो करें दोस चिल्ड्रन लास्ट 2 डेज दे हैव बीन एक्सपेरिमेंटिंग एंड द काइंड ऑफ इंटरेक्शन दैट इज हैपनिंग बिटवीन द फिजिक्स टीचर and the children is amazing. You yeah. know, children also go beyond something if it interests them. Yeah. Something that is an interest that, I mean, that they have not seen earlier. And it is happening with the things those are available in the house. And yeah. a, a difficult concept also can be taught like that. Yeah. So Definitely. this is how the teachers, 
are challenging themselves. Rather, I'm really, really pleasantly surprised. Teachers, you know, taking up the challenge and coming up to the forte, for, I mean, forefront and doing the work. Definitely. And I, I have one request since you work with so many teachers. We have so many Corona warriors. Why not teachers? Teachers are also oh, Corona warriors. Ma'am, ma you would be surprised on the same ICANN platform, uh, on the ICANN page, Almost before two months, when we started doing the trainings, I told my design team to create a banner and uh, we drafted a message that, of course, doctors, police, nurses, everyone, you know, we've been talking about them as frontline warriors, but let's not forget teachers. So Just being from education, fraternity, being with people like you, we definitely I'm value a lot of teachers. A very, very humble request to the parents. Please don't deride and don't discuss the teachers in front of your children. Because mm -hmm. what happens is you are seeing them from your angle. Yeah. For children, until a certain age, teachers are their gods. Whatever teacher says, they will do. Whatever at times it happens with younger children. And once yeah. you, you know, you just discuss them in a wrong manner, then the children also, you know, Parent at this point of the time also is a person who is setting the norms for values. Yes. The eight old yes. values in the home, in your children. You are inculcating values in your children. Don't inculcate ingratitude and disrespect. These two things, because if we sow these kind of seeds in our children, someday or the other, it will come and hit back at us. This is not done. We need True. to make a grateful society. We yeah. are, I mean, and only teachers cannot do, only parents cannot do. Both of them, if they work on this, because values creating value systems, very, very important. And teachers and the parents should not uh, do away with it. And for this, I think parents should shoulder major responsibility for creating yes. those value systems and I think uh, this reminds me of uh, one of the videos that floats around in the social media where uh, Jack Ma from Alibaba, the owner of Alibaba says that in, in today's uh, new generation of kids, what we need to do is that we need to inculcate soft skills and values because yes. that is what will keep them apart and that is what will help them, these kids, beat the technology and machines. Machines will be efficient at doing a lot of things. They will not have the soft skills. They will not have the values. That's what will set the, our kids apart in, in the time if to you, come. If you permit me, if you oh. permit me, without me, with your permission, I would like to go on. Uh, I mean, I can say it lot of, with a lot of pride. What did you have as a student? What did you have? You had excellent soft skills. So wherever you have reached today, Sohil, it is not because of your academic excellence. It is one thing, your attitude. Attitude to, uh, you know, embrace work. Attitude to take new challenges. And secondly, you had good value system. So your values and your soft skills, your attitude takes you forward in life. Only your yeah. academic excellence does not take you anywhere. That is what is... I mean, this is what is my experience of these many years. Definitely. At least definitely. as being a dinosaur, I can say this. <laughs> as being a veteran, of course, you can say that. Man. So, yeah, I mean, that definitely matters. I think uh, one, one last word I would want to have from Amit sir. Uh, Amit sir, amongst all this, can you also highlight in, in a couple of sentences that how important uh, schools should be, you know, considering or be worried about data privacy while using different platforms. I see a lot of schools jumping on to, you know, uh, WhatsApp or uh, uh, Telegram. What is happening is that uh, every other parent's phone number is available with others. People are forming their own WhatsApp groups and now they are discussing various other uh, matters which are not related to teaching learning. So I think uh, should should schools be uh, worried or be more thoughtful about selecting what platform you are on and uh, try and uh, you know, think about data privacy also. 
so uh, so well in terms of data privacy there are uh, you know various laws across the globe you have uh, gdpr for example that recently came out of europe and uh, similarly there are many others across the globe in in one or the other way see the primary purpose of uh, you know data uh, privacy is that any information should not be misused or any information should not be used for wrong purposes right mm -hmm. in terms of what kind of a uh, platform can a school uh, you know take is something which is an encrypted platform like zoom for example right earlier was not encrypted but a paid version today is encrypted yes. so yes second is mm -hmm. take a platform uh, even possibly like a google uh, classroom platform where you don't just do lectures but you can also give out assignments and the kid can take assignments etc so what is more interactive like i can also quote another one which uh, i have used since last almost 12 years plus is adobe connect now that's a different level platform altogether uh, i've been using that since 12 years you have you know breakout rooms and everything in there you can you know the kids can also have whiteboards etc but data privacy for that matter you just have to ensure the right set of people are in the in the in the room the invitations are done right for all good reasons uh, i think that's the the ultimate most important uh, you know aspect of of data privacy and anything which helps you facilitate and uh, you know having said that one aspect is of course what platform you use but your platform will only be effective if you are facilitating uh, on a virtual platform make sure your kids go get those instructions at what do they do after the virtual platform because a virtual platform is for two and a half hours make sure you facilitate give them time to read they have to come back they have to talk and present all those factors will make a difference and give the soft skills in place as rightly said by kalpana ma'am because that is something which makes a difference so having said that of course take google uh, or any uh, one of them anything which helps you facilitate Sure. and uh, as far as possible if numbers are not con uh, you know discussed or any any financial information is not discussed i think you don't need to worry keep the right set of people in the classroom and that's all sure 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 so uh, i can see that uh, we had planned a one hour session but as kalpana ma'am had earlier pointed out that one hour is not going to be sufficient to talk on this there's so much to talk and we can keep doing that but uh, i would quickly want to summarize this for the people who are seeing this uh, for the people who left comments we have broadly talked about a blended approach we talked about using various mediums uh, let there be experiential learning let there be online uh, connect also with teachers and students let there be uh, the use of whatsapp also where connectivity or some other platform is not available where there are parents who are well versed with whatsapp only and there is no scope of something else do that as well uh, e learning also is an important thing where uh, you can assign something to a child it can be something from an app like i can or from youtube or from khan academy anywhere you can refer this to kids and tell them to see and then the teacher can carry out discussions or uh, have questions answered uh, there's a lot uh, like kalpana ma'am mentioned there's a lot that can be learned from surroundings uh, within the home within uh, the nearby premises whatsoever best permits i think uh, teachers must uh, have this tweak in their lesson plans uh, on these areas and then accordingly if teaching learning happens i think that that will really make a difference and these uh, these dilemmas that we are coming across as teachers as schools will definitely be taken care of and uh, i think let's all also acknowledge this as a fact that this generation of teachers at least uh, you know this last 15 20 years and the next 5 years uh, we, we i always tell that this generation of teachers is a transient generation because there are teachers who seen classrooms with only chalk and board and they have seen technology entering the classrooms they have also seen internet en entering the classrooms and now totally virtual learning environments so this generation of teachers and schools is a transient generation and uh, now after 10 years there will be a generation of teachers who will enter into a classroom that is virtually equipped and the internet is always there and maybe they don't see a chalk and a blackboard and they'll if someone goes and tells them that uh, you know we used to teach with a chalk and a blackboard and they'll be like how could you do that i mean is it even possible so yes because this is a transient generation all sort of challenges will be there uh, of course uh, with the way like ma'am mentioned that uh, 
uh, teachers are adapting and they are frontline warriors too they are the corona warriors as well so till the time we have this flexibility in teachers and of course support from parents management support i'm sure uh, we are all going to sail through this transition uh, in a very good way uh, any last words from kalpana ma'am and then we I, can end the session uh, no no i you you said that what are the challenges that the schools are facing yeah since uh, now you know they say ke padvi jab bad jati hai to uski responsibility bhi utni badhti hai so i these days across the country the schools are facing you know lack of funds fees is not being paid for various reasons yeah so you know that is that cash crunch in schools are all is also is a very big concern for the people who are running the schools because yes. teachers have to be paid teachers are working and it is not only teachers a school of consists course. of it's an no. entire community as amit bhai said and the entire community has their well being who has to see that and from yes. where the, do the schools bring that yes. so i mean since this is on facebook and it is being watched by everybody i can assure you one thing that teachers who are teachers by choice they will never ever you know go back or they will never resist anything because oh, until and no. unless a teacher unlearns relearns and applies her own existence is at stake understood yeah. so yeah. teachers will do their duty in this all of us need to yes have clear cut instructions mindsets that we have to now live like this and besides that be ready and prepared teachers parents and everybody that we don't have to cow down or bow down to these uh, you know circumstances this is something which has come it is going to go away it's not here for constantly we will not never have corona virus right initially yes the first challenge will be when the schools reopen how do we conduct ourselves there how do we uh, look after children how do we look after teachers how do we look after parents emotions and anxiety but a time will come time will come back so yeah. uh, you know we have to be very calmly think about everything and then act accordingly this is my humble request to everybody and sure. uh, uh, sure. i think, I think uh, that's a that's a perfect uh, note to end the session uh, definitely schools are putting in their best uh, teachers are putting in their best efforts uh, people like us who represent the edtech we are trying to bring in uh, solutions we are trying to reach out to people who can adopt to a lot of things very quickly uh make this smoother make this more easy for teachers handle them and uh, i think all of us all the stakeholders are trying to put this in place uh for an ultimate objective which is the uh which is the well-being of the child and uh, to ensure that the learning uh, of that particular child is happening it should continue in whatsoever form uh, with the kind of available resources that we have wherever whatever it is whatever we have yes whatever we have so uh, i'm sure i'm sure a lot of teachers parents uh, have a lot of their queries and uh, questions answered throughout the session we will also answer to the comments that have uh, been received on the youtube page and uh, the facebook page i would like to thank all of you all the panel members uh, kalpana ma'am uh, binu ma'am richard ma'am amit sir all of you to give such uh, inputs from all the perspectives i think uh, it was very important that we discuss about all the stakeholders and address these questions i'm sure there will be much more and uh, if situation demands we will definitely uh, get our hands on with all of you again and have these answered again if required but uh, first of all and uh, thank you all of you to present your views sparing uh, your time addressing these critical questions at this time thank you ma'am uh, anything thank if you. anyone wants to add uh, thank you so much
thank you, uh, thank Ma you. Foundation and uh, ICANN Education. I, I stay so far away from you people, <laughs> but still, I don't you know. I'm in like, there is an umbilical cord which I, I don't know I'm unable to cut it even after 12 years. Anyways, and it's so good to connect with people from Bapi and Bilsar. Somehow I get back to my home. <laughs> it is that feeling. And thank you so much for, you know, making me connect with the people of that area. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, you Amit Bhai, Dilshad, for your comments thank and your views. They were very, oh, so uh, they're very helpful. Thank you. thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, so Thanks, all. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Sohil. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks, uh, so. You have given a lot of guidance to us also. Uh, always uh, there. Things, uh, uh, always, always. Uh, we look upon to you. As always. you said, dinosaur, big dinosaur with a lot of knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's thank not you so knowledge. Much. See, what happens is, why I say that these people should be lauded because how have I learned? I have learned hands on. I I mean, no college teaches you how to do this. Be whatever B. Ed. course we learned then, even till today, the B. Ed. courses have not changed. But whatever we have learned, we have learned on the I mean, you were my colleague at the time when we were learning, when I started learning. You were a colleague and you know how many discussions we used to have that how we don't have that yeah. much money. How are we going to do this? Because we want to do something. And, and yes, then when you want to do, you have the will. Children also help you out. Their parents also help you. Out. So yeah. that, you know, that all the stakeholders have to be on the similar platform. That is very, very important for any learning experience. This is what I, mm -hmm. I firmly believe in that. Once again, thank you, everyone. Uh, uh, I will be ending the broadcast. Thank you for being a part of this and for all your inputs here. Thank you, everyone. Thank Thanks, you. everyone. Thanks for giving us a chance. My pleasure.